Now, when can we say that a set is not open? So to answer that one, let us first note that a set A is open if and only if each of its points is an interior point. Hence, you could say that a set is not open if and only if there exists a point in the set that is not an interior point. Okay, let's have, for example, this set C, closed interval from 5 to 9. So take note uh, from our previous example, 5 uh, is not an interior point, so with 9. So hence, hence there exists a point in the set that is not an interior point. So we can say that this is not an interior point of C. Next, uh, I'm done discussing this one, that empty is open. Why? Because uh, we cannot find a point or an element in the empty set because we know that empty set has no element. So we cannot find an element here that is not an interior point. So there is no contradiction to the statement that an empty set is open. So it means the statement is vacuously true. There is nothing to argue. Now let's have the infinite interval, open infinite interval. We have, obviously this is open. And the next interval, as you can see here, this is closed interval or infinite closed interval. We know that 10 is not an interior point of this interval here. Hence, there exists a point in this set which is not an interior point. So from this theorem, from our pr previous theorem, we can say that this set is not an open set. The following are the two fundamental theorems about open sets. We have the union and the intersection. Let's have first here the union. So it says here that the union of any number of open sets in R is open. So let's try to consider the class of open intervals. We have here A sub N. So this is equal to this class of open intervals. Now observe that if we are to get the union, we have here the union. Why is that that this is the union? Okay, let's try to have this illustration. So our class here is a sub n and negative 1 over n to positive 1 over n. When n is 1, we have negative 1, 1. So this is the open interval, negative 1, 1. When n is 2, we have um, negative 1 half to positive 1 half. So we have this open interval. Now as you have noticed here, the sets or open intervals are decreasing right it becomes smaller so from here from this open interval when n is 1 it becomes this open interval when n is 2 then when n is 3 this is from negative one third to one third so this smaller interval. So notice that if you are to get the union, the union of this class, so from n equals 1 to positive infinity, so let's have this, 
a sub n is just equal to the union of this. So for the union, of course, it is obviously that the bigger set because this is contained in the bigger set and the smaller set is contained in the open interval negative 1, 1. Therefore, we have our union. Next, we have here the, ah, by the way, uh, this open interval of this key is an open set. Therefore, we can say that the union of any number of open sets in R is open. So any number, it could be finite or infinite number of open sets. Of course, if we will just limit this one, if we will just to get the, the union of A sub n, where n is from 1 to 4, of course, the union is still negative 1, 1. So because our, uh, what's this, sets here are decreasing. Now let's proceed to the next theorem. We have here the intersection. So for the intersection, it is limited only to finite number of open sets. So it is only true when we are to get the intersection of finite number of open sets. It is open. Now what about if we get the uh, intersection of any number, not finite? Could it still be open? Okay, we will answer that one later on. Now, in this case, if we have here the set AB, uh, B2 open sets, and we have this open interval. Now, we will get the intersection of the two sets, A and B. So, we have here the set A from negative 1, to 6 and then for set B we have okay by the way this is for our set A and for set B we have from 0 to 9 so this is our for set B notice that the intersection is this one okay. so we have from 0 to 6 Obviously, the intersection is open. Now, to answer the previous question, if the intersection of any number, not finite, any number of open sets in R is open, uh, just like in our previous theorem, any number here, uh, we are to consider the same class of open intervals. So, we will consider this one, and then we will take the intersection of any number of open sets. So, let's have here this illustration here. Okay, so we have this class, open intervals, and we know that these open intervals here are decreasing. And it approaches to zero. Now, if we are to take the intersection, if we are to take the intersection of these two sets here, this one to this one, of course, the smaller one. But if n is three, we could have smaller interval than this. So the intersection is this one. But we are to take the intersection of the class of open intervals a sub n, where n is from 1 to infinity, notice that the 
sets here, the open intervals here, are decreasing. It approaches to zero. Therefore, the intersection is the set zero. And take note that uh, the set zero is not open. This is not open. Why? Why is this not open? Because if we take zero as our p and then we consider uh, this open set, this open set, uh, say for example negative one one but set this contains zero this is not a subset of the set zero therefore zero is not an interior point of this set zero this one so we can say that this set which is equal to the intersection of the class of open intervals is an n is not open. Hence, we can say that an arbitrary intersection of open sets need not be open.